how's it going friends? My name is Angel Alex and welcome back to the channel you guys We are back with some more of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode we spent a lot of time with Eagle Flies and Rainfalls um, A lot of things happened and we saw Dutch Dutch's true colors I guess you could say. I mean I kind of knew it but He's not getting any better and Mike is not helping so a lot happened last episode and yeah, definitely just, just go go check it out because it's just too much. Too much going on. Arthur scared me a little bit too last episode. I thought he was going to die and ugh, it was just so much. So many emotions. I was just like angry because of what Dutch did and yeah, a lot happened. Um, but now we're about to head. Where's my, where's my horse? Oh. Okay. Um, so now... We're just next to camp, next to the camp. So we're gonna go talk to Dutch. I don't, I don't even know what we're doing right now. Like, it's not going well at, at camp at all, and I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, Dutch. I don't even want to be around well, him. Well, at least you ain't run off. Shut your ass up. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone. Wow. Gone. Good. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Uh, I mean, I envy them. <laughs> All the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. I know, I know. We. Our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. How many big scores do we have to do? Spinning, we take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. That's always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. <laughs> we know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair what the happened to the... that you blew. The bonds that we found at the oil factory. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. Oh, man. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Oh man, we're gonna die. I mean, I know Let's we're go. gonna die, but we're gonna die like. Yeah. I just want Sadie, John. I want them to be okay. I don't want Sadie to die, but Dutch. Uh, I know John's not gonna die, but like, still. I worry for them. Okay, let's pick up the pace. Train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No, it's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys head home on leave, <laughs> and it heads out. Ooh, excuse me. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg. 
waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of Saint Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into Saint Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. This is not gonna be good, John. It's not. Oh, sorry, Should bud. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Is that all we'll need? Guess so. Got it. All right. Let's get this done. Come on. The train's on its way. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. <laughs> Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Oh, Whatever my heart. Job today. <laughs> Wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> One last train. Man. There he is, the man himself. something different sounds about as good now as every time i heard it before <laughs> oh, abigail must be real excited all packed up like she is i could just see her in the little grass skirt uh, talk to me you son of a bitch yeah you tell him john boys, boys okay now let's keep it down god that guy draw attention to ourselves going through here nice and easy through town fellas uh, yeah we don't look Sandy. obvious at all <laughs> good to be back Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Micah? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Tell Micah to shut the hell up. Run his damn mouth, man. Please tell me I get the honor of killing Micah one day. That'd be amazing. How much further now? <laughs> we just look... Like, so obvious. Like, all of us riding into Saint Denis. Like... We're still wanted men. Like... <laughs> that's not gonna go well. Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, 
Follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. I'm glad I'll be with John at least. Not somebody I could trust to have my back and not somebody like Dutch. God damn it. Well, wow. everybody mount up. We're still going through with this. Of course we are. Oh my god. These guys are something else. Let's go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, girl. Faster. Nice. Oh. Oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money's in the front carriage. We gotta push for Gun. 
Here we go, boys. Well done. Oh shit. Back in on. Oh no. John! Motherfucker. Move. <laughs> Where's John? I tried. Yeah, you sh no, no, he did not try, you little. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. They had to run. Come on, let's go before another patrol turns up. Gotta be just as pissed off as I am, Arthur. Oh, okay. I wanna do that. God, man. Obviously, he's not dead. Oh my god. I just wanna slap Dutch and Micah. I just. Ugh. Makes me mad. Oh, Red Dead Redemption. That's the name of this? Oh no. This is it, guys. This is it. We're getting down to the end of this thing. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. Oh, that's some. Um, 
Well, sorry, son. Oh, my. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Y'all took Dutch. the damn money, then. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. It pains me to say it, Arthur. But he is right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! Damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Let's do it, Sadie. Fucking Dutch. Oh, God. It's chilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack. And you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. Mm. I'm gonna go get your mama. I'm gonna start crying. Mrs. Adler. Oh. We're doing Not it. With me. Yeah. Oh man. I'm so glad. Say by my side. The boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. Something. Ah. Uh... No, no. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen. If you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. <laughs> and even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac. Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny, we have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies, another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it. Now come on. We're doing it. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, <laughs> Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. <laughs> Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. I ship it. I ship it. Okay. I love y'all, both y'all. Just kiss already. <laughs> Get. I know, it's not time for that, I know. <laughs> 
alright, alright, alright. Higher up we go. Oh, she gave me a sec. Oh. Okay, Mr. Milton, where are you? Let's do this, boys. There you oh, are, you motherfucker. You Shoot him? Should I shoot him? I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him, Sadie. Girl, come on. Almost there. Alright, I can't help her when she's in there. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, come on, we could have shot him. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. <laughs> Boys, do a wield in it. Fuck! 
kill these fuckers. This motherfucker. That's quite a cough. You're 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 a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. That motherfucker. I knew it. I didn't, but I knew it. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Grapple, grapple, grapple. Grapple, grapple. Let's go. Come on, am I doing this right? Am I supposed to tap it? Oh, thank God. Oh. Horrible man. You got that right. Now, come on. Both of you. <laughs> oh my eye. Let's do this. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? Billy's got it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Abigail, oh, you us. mine. Right now. Okay, I was like, you're on my horse, so it's just confusing. Alright, we're good, we're good. You'll be okay. John. 
Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No Don't you owe Arthur me. <laughs> Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's oh. that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> No, oh, I was about to say, I was like, where's my hat? Oh, man. The many miles we walk, the many things we learn. Back at the camp. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Oh, oh Come man. On. All of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. Oh. 
We ain't got long. Hurry! We just got plenty of time, you Motherfucker. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Oh, let's fucking go. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? Let's fucking go! Left me. Left me to die! You motherfucker. My boy. Oh my gosh. I didn't have a choice. Oh, whatever. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Oh, Bell, yeah, you tell him. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Oh, fucking A. <laughs> you. Now! <laughs> Who amongst you <laughs> is with me? I'm not with you, bitch. And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Oh, man, more Everyone of these guys. Down. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. Let's keep moving. Okay. They're right on us, Arthur. Come on. I'm going, I'm going, Arthur, I'm going. You go on first. This poor guy's out of breath. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. Oh. I want you to not look back. Like I said, 
Down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Help John get to safety. You're trying for the money. I'm going. Help John. Fuck the money. I don't give a shit. I'm coming. Like, with there's you. always more money in the world. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. If it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go. We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, man. Shit. Uh. Well, let's get up this cliff. Yeah. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Oh. Uh. Oh man. Oh, this is Steve John. Get behind a rock! I'm trying, I'm trying. They're everywhere! Get out! Oh, get down. Let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. No. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. So many of 
louder, 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 louder. Oh, what the fuck? Motherfucker. Rat, you rat! I'm a survivor, Black Lung! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! Yes! Oh no. Motherfucker. Let's fucking go. Oh. Break free, break free, break free, break free. Bitch, motherfucker. Let's go, man. Oh, you push me? Oh, you do not headbutt. Ah, oh, you bitch. This is where it ends for you. God damn it. Motherfucker. Come here, bitch. Oh, come on. Arthur, block. Yes. After we're done, I'm gonna kill Marston too. Like hell you are. God damn it. There we go. Come on, there we go, Arthur. Let's go. Come on, bitch. Motherfucker. Oh, my poor head. Still got a little fight in your have you boy. Oh, come on. Break free. Break free. Break free. Break free. We're breaking free! Come on! Come on! There we go. There we go. There we go, Arthur. There we go. Motherfucker. Bitch. Oh, fuck. Come on, bitch. Oh my god, my face! Oh, black lung. Crawl, bud, crawl. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. Come on, Arthur. You lost my sick friend. Oh, come on! You lost. Yeah, Despite my best efforts to the country. It turns out I won. Come on. Almost there. God damn you. Let's go. Dutch. It is over. You motherfucker. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Yeah, up there on the ring. I gave you all I had. I did. Uh, 
Come on. Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. <laughs> He's the only one. The rest of us. No. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on. Some years later. The wheel. That was close. Too close. Jack! We got that trouble on our sails. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did, but I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. <laughs> oh you know, my god. Find someplace to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just go into Tahiti. <sighs> Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. Oh. What do you know about strawberry? I know that like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. Aww. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. <laughs> we'll read different books then. Oh my goodness. The books is Jack's. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. <laughs> boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. <laughs> that what you like, then? 
Western Tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy Tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. No. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. No. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? <laughs> I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. I gotta remember, man. I haven't seen this place in forever. This is the same place, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. <laughs> Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Laundry work, huh? You guys, we're playing as John. Oh. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Oh. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, <laughs> we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Got a it. wagon by any chance? I do. Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, man. Go to the doctor's office to meet with Abigail. Okay. I gotta remember, because Strawberry's in red, the first Red Dead, right? I gotta remember. I know, um... I, the only thing I remember so well is McFarland's Ranch. That's the one thing I remember really well. Thank you, Doctor. Hey! <laughs> How you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living! It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. No. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> yeah, I remember Jack. I, honestly, I remember Abigail kind of being a little bit of a bitch, too. I don't remember, though. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. But I remember Jack was kind of a little snappy. I just remember in Undead Nightmare, they both die. <laughs> or they both get infected. Alright. now. Of course. Try my best. Oh, oh sorry, dude. Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? 
Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. <laughs> We're all work. <laughs> Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. Asking for trouble. When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <Yeah. Ooh. laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> you can use that horse. <laughs> and don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. Well, let's go. You ain't getting away with that. That's my damn wagon. Oh shit! Oh my lord! Get up, horse! Get up, horse! Get up! The hit said to stop in front of the. Hurry up! <laughs> it said to stop in front of the, the wagon. So I did. Go. Bitch. Oh, all right, we did it. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. Mm. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. Oh, nice. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Sweet. We got a cabin, boys. Epilogue part one Pronghorn Ranch Part one? How many parts are there? Oh, look at us Little John Marston In a big world Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And make sure to leave a comment, let me know if you want to see some more of Red Dead, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.